you've been watching this channel for a while, you should know that I have a deep-seated love for slasher movies of the 80s. I think they're fantastic and it seems to be a lost art, something that you don't really discover too much nowadays. Until it brings me along to The Ranger, a movie from Jen Wexler that rediscovers a sort of 2000s version of an 80s slasher you know it has all the encapsulating things that you want a group of teens a group of punks on the run from something who come up against a strange authoritarian figure in the form of a park ranger who deems these people unworthy of life and is going to take that from them as quickly as he can it is a short punchy movie around about an hour and 20 minutes total it knows exactly what it wants to do and it doesn't waste any time in getting there the movie opens with our group of teen punk characters who are planning on doing uh, some drug deals to get some cash and there is a police raid where they have to go on the run they make some decisions and do some things that is probably going to haunt them for the little time that they have left on this earth and they run away to Chelsea, our main character's uh, inheritance, a cabin in the woods that was left to her by her uncle who seemed to have uh, died at some point in the woods and uh, she goes there and of course is, is met by the ranger who is somebody from Chelsea's past and who recognises her but has a deep disdain for the rest of her friends. And it's obvious to see why, because they're not the nicest people. They are just kind of idiots, to be fair. So they go to the cabin, and from then on, it becomes a blood fest, as these people are killed off in various disgusting and bloody manners, where they engage so much blood that it's just fun. You know, the special effects are rather gory, rather bloody, rather inventive and extremely fun if that's the kind of thing that you're into. For me, that's a plus point definitely. The characters aren't really that important. It's nice to have some uh, some of the crew that aren't that nice so when they do get taken out as a kind of punch the sky, cheer on the colour kind of moment, the kind of thing that these movies should have. I mean it gets down to the final girl and the colour as it does because these movies are at their heart very formulaic but that's part and parcel of what we love about them. If you're a Slashers fan, it becomes a very nice tussle between these two similarly liked uh, people. You know, they both have this driving force. They both have, as the movie says, the wolf inside of them. And it does get extremely strange and weird in certain moments within the movie. Like I said, the, the bloody deaths are frequent and extremely fun. There is some gory moments in it um, involving a wolf a foot, a spade, and of course just the typical gun, you know, is an easy way out. It's it's a movie that doesn't waste any time in doing what it wants to do. You know, we set up these characters, we get some uh, blood and guts at the beginning scenes, we get them on the road, we get to discover a little bit about each of them, whether we like them or not, it's up to our own minds, personally. I don't think they were that uh, interesting people, apart from Chelsea, our lead, who does have a backstory mixed throughout the movie. And because you get that one character, I'm always happy. As long as they give a little bit of uh, backstory, a little bit of something to latch on to with the, the sort of lead character in the slasher movies, it's pretty much doing its right thing. And then the gore matches with that as well. The Ranger is one of these movies that, if you're a fan of slashers, you're just going to love because it really does encapsulate that love of 80s slasherdom, you know, just the way it's setting, it's filmed, it's characters, it's set in the 80s, I think it's 1983 that it's set and it really does just capture that kind of punk movement or the tail end of it as well as um, the, the 80s slashers as a whole. I can wholeheartedly recommend The Ranger. If you're in the UK, it will be coming to Shudder UK very soon in the new year, and I can highly recommend checking this one out. A lot of fun. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Man vs. Film.